The other day, I was reading for my devotional time in the book of Exodus, Exodus chapters 2 and 3, and as I was reading, I came across a passage that really spoke to my heart, and let me read some of the verses from there. This is Exodus 2, beginning in verse 23. It says, During those days, the king of Egypt died, and the people of Israel groaned because of their slavery and cried out for help. Their cry for rescue from slavery came up to God. And God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. God saw the people of Israel, and God knew. I love that statement, and God knew. When we go through hard times in our lives, difficult or trying times, it's sometimes hard for us to believe that God knows and that he cares but he does. And here, this uh, set of of verses from Exodus chapter 3 says, Then the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and who have heard their, and I have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their sufferings. And I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land to a good and broad land a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And now, behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppress them. The Lord does hear our cries to him, not just because of the covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but now because we live under a new and better covenant, the covenant of love that he has for us in Jesus, he hears our our cries and answers. Whatever circumstances we may find ourselves in, we shouldn't give up crying out to the Lord. He hears. He knows our situation better than we do. He has compassion on us. And he will do as he did with his people in Egypt. He will act on our behalf. We sometimes fail to see God's answers to our prayers and do do his work in our lives because we think that he doesn't answer us immediately enough. If we think that, we may think that he's not going to answer us at all. If we think of our lives more from the perspective of God, we know that he's not dealing just with us, but with billions of other people in this world. And in order to bring about his perfect plan and his perfect timing, he has to deal with many to do that, to bring about his plan. When we were returning to the mission field in 1999, we had to pack a container of all of our personal belongings and furniture to send it ahead of us so that we would have something to live in when we got to Africa. I had never packed a container before, but knew that every square inch of that container needed to be filled in order for us to get our money's worth and for us to get as much stuff to Africa of our own as we could. Because I'd, never hire, uh, because I'd never packed a container, I hired a packing company to come and help us. The time for the packers and the container to arrive would be um, at 8.30 and one morning. Before I went to the storage place that morning, I prayed and asked God's blessing on his plans for that day. On that day, the packers arrived as scheduled about 8.30. 9.30 came, 10.30 came, 11.30 came, and there was still no container. All the while, I was asking the Lord to bring the container, but it did not happen. At noon, I sent the packers away because I was paying them by the hour, and we had no container to pack in. At 12.30, the container arrived, and the delivery guy said that he would leave the container at that site overnight so that we could pack the next day since it was his mistake in being late. About three o'clock in the afternoon, the packers called and said that they could not come back the next day because they already had another commitment. Honestly, I became a little frantic. What was I going to do? We needed to have as much stuff as possible packed into that container 
and I, didn't, I knew I didn't have the expertise to do it, but now we had no packers. So again, I prayed and tried my heart's best to believe that God would answer and help. We were at my mother-in-law's at the time, and when she heard that our packers had gone by the wayside, she remembered that she had taught some children whose father owned a packing company there in that town. So she called the man in the afternoon and asked if there was any way that he could help us out. It was almost five o'clock by that time, and the man said that he was booked for the next day as well, but as people were coming off their jobs back to his company, that he would ask them if any of them would be willing to work for us in that evening. In about 30 minutes, he called back and said that two of his men had agreed to help us. By 7.30 that evening, the container was packed to the gills. We closed the door, switched off the lights, and waited for the next day when the container man would come and pick up the container and take it to Charleston to put it on a ship for Africa. I wish I could tell you all of God's purposes and plans for how that day worked out. I don't know exactly why the container man was late. He never gave us a good explanation. I don't know if those men who came that night after their all-day job and helped us needed more money for some particular reason. I don't know. But I do know that the way the Lord orchestrated that day strengthened my faith. I had no idea how things would turn out, but I prayed and he heard my prayer and he accomplished the need that I had for that container to be packed and it's packed as well as it possibly could be. I've never forgotten that and I never will forget that because God impressed upon me, I love you, I hear you, and I will accomplish my purposes, my good purposes in your life. So as the Israelites case and in my case, Remember, the Lord does hear. He knows and he promises to help us. Because of his love for us, help us, Lord, to keep crying out to you that you may answer our prayers and help us. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the opportunity to remember these words from Exodus, Lord, of how you were faithful to your people in those days. Thank you, Lord, for even the uh, testimony that I have in my own story of how you were faithful to me in a day that I needed you greatly. And I pray, Lord, even as we hear these things, that we would be strengthened in our faith of your love for us, the fact that you hear us, you know us, and Lord, that you will provide. Help us, Lord, to be patient with you. Help us to trust you and your timing in our lives that you will accomplish your good and perfect plan and purposes for us and for all your people. We pray these things in Jesus' name now. Amen.